So right now the attack system works. If I look at the colliding parts, we know what parts are hitting, but we can't exactly figure out where it's hitting. For example, let me restart. If I put the dummy here and play again, even if I hit the dummy in the leg, the same animation that seems like the head is being hit, that's the animation that gets played every time. We want to fix that, so let me exit play mode. First, let me put the dummy back into its place, somewhere around here. If I look at the suited man, I don't want the colliding parts to reside in the character control. I want it to be at where each of these triggers are. So first I'm going to go into character control and get rid of the colliding parts here. Then I'm going to go into the trigger detector, control T, go into the script, and I want to put it here. If I save both of the scripts, I'm going to get a bunch of error messages. Okay. So instead of finding the collider from the character control, we want to find it from the trigger detector. First, I think we need a function called get all triggers from the character control. Let's go and create that public method. Public list of trigger detectors, get all triggers. I'm gonna have a private list of trigger detectors. So when this function is called, if the trigger detectors are empty, I want to find them all first. Get components in children trigger detector. We only want to do this once. And we add them to the list. Okay, and then we return that list. So if I go back to the damage detector, I'm just going to copy paste this into that. And all the colliders are going to be in the trigger now. Okay. Let's save and check for other errors. There should be more. So the colliding part is no longer with the character control, the owner. It's with the each individual trigger detector. So we don't need to call the owner anymore. We just add it directly to the list. Let's go back and check for more. Okay, looks like we fixed everything. Let me click play and everything should be exactly the same. Okay, looks good. I also want to be able to set up the ragdoll parts before the game starts. So I'm going to create a new script, a new folder first, character control, move it into the folder. And I'm also going to create another folder here called editor because I want a custom button for the character control. So I'm going to call it character control editor and go into the script. And for this, I'm going to use the unity editor. The namespace as always. 
and we're going to inherit from the editor class. And this is going to be a custom editor. And we're going to use it for the character control. We want the on inspector GUI and we want to draw default. First, we're going to get the character control by calling the target. And we're going to create a button here. We'll call the button setup ragdoll parts or body parts. And when we press this button, all we got to do is call the setup ragdoll body parts function from the character control. Control T, character control. And I don't think it's a public variable yet. Okay, make this public. And we don't want to do it in the awake here. So let's get rid of it. We want to do it through this button. Okay. And let me go back to the definition. First thing we want to do is make sure the list is empty because we want to restart every time we press the button. And we don't want to have any duplicates. So if there's already a trigger detector, or if there is no trigger detector, that's the only time we add the new script. Save everything and go back to Unity. I'm going to look at the character control. And now we see the custom button here. And right now the ragdoll parts are empty, but if I press this, all of it gets added to the list. So we have the hips, the hip, the spine, and everything else. And each trigger has its own colliding parts. So whenever it's hit, we know exactly which part is being hit. Let me go back and press this multiple times just to check, make sure that it works. Okay, looks good. Let me click apply. And I'm going to delete the dummy. I'm going to look for the dummy prefab. And delete it. Because I don't think we're going to need a separate prefab just to have the exact same dummy. Just we can use the same prefab. Turn it and just turn off the manual input without applying it. Okay, looks good. Now I want each of these triggers to have a designated death animation, depending on where they are in the body. So I'm going to create a public enum, call it general body part, and I'm going to use upper body, lower body, arm, and legs. And each of the trigger is going to have that as a public variable. Save and go back to Unity. Here is a bit of manual labor. I'm going to go into each of the body part and set up the general body part type. So the upper leg, I'm going to call it lower. Left leg, leg. I'm going to do the same thing with the right leg and every other body part. Just go in there and set it up.
same thing with the left arm. Left arm is going to be upper. And I want the forearm and the hand to be just arm. Same thing with the right arm. Okay. Okay. I think I got everything. Click apply. And save the scene because these are just duplicates of the same prefab the other suit and man should have everything applied as well okay looks good I'm gonna go into the damage detector and whenever we take damage I want to know exactly which general body part is being hit. So I'm going to call it damage part and go into the take damage function or before we take damage I want the damage part designated by looking at which trigger it belongs to. And right now we don't have the animations, so I'm just going to debug. I want the name plus where it's hit. Okay. Let's save and go back to Unity. I click play whenever a character dies so in this case Sudiman number one we know that it's now hit somewhere in the upper body part let me accept play mode and let me now try putting this guy up here and play again and hit him in the legs so now we know that the Sudan Man 1 is being hit on the leg. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll designate a specific death animation for each of these general body parts. Thanks for watching.